Thinking application. Evaluate limit x approaching 0 for sine of tan x divided by sine x. That's kind of interesting, right? How to do these kinds of questions? So the idea is that we know one thing about fundamental limits on trigonometric functions, and that is limit for x approaching 0 of sine x over x is equal to 1. That is the only solution which we know, and that should help us solve this equation. Now, how do we get in this form? Important thing is, these two things should be same. So, let's see how to make them same. Let's first copy the question, and then you should look into the strategy we adopt. So, the question is, limit x approaching 0, sine of tan x, over sine x. So if I have to have something like this, that means I want to have tan x here. Do you see that? How can I have tan x in this place? One way to do it is that I multiply and divide by cos. Do you see that? So if I divide both by cos x, do you get my point? That is, let me say divide by cos x numerator and also denominator. Do you understand? Then sin x over cos x will be tan x and that is the way we can do it. Do you understand? So that is the strategy. So we can write this as limit x approaching 0 sin of tan x over sin x over cos x. So dividing by cos x is same as multiplying by cos x, correct? So you divide by this and you get what? You get 1 over cos x here. So let me rewrite this. I've shown you here but still confusing. So instead of dividing, I'll multiply by cos x. So we'll go one more step further, right? So what we will do is, so when I'm dividing, so we can write this as sin x Let's divide this by cos x and let's divide this also by cos x. Do you understand? So we divided both numerator and denominator by cos x. Right? So this is like same as this operation. Now you can rewrite this as equal to limit x approaching 0. So I'll write numerator now as sin x tan x over cos x. So this cos x I'm writing here. And then we have here sin x cos x which is tan x. Do you get the point? So basically both cos x comes kind of in the denominator, right? So that's how we get it. So we can write this as limit x approaching 0. Now we'll write this as sin x within bracket tan x over tan x times limit x approaching 0 for 1 over cos x. Have a good look at it. I hope you're getting the steps. Now this is kind of like this, sin x over x. Sin of tan x over tan x is kind of same thing. So this limit is 1 for us. Do you see that? So we have 1 times. And how about this? When I substitute 0 for cos x, we get 1. So it is 1 times 1, so we get answer as 1. So limit for our function is equal to 1. So that is the answer. I hope you appreciate the process. Thank you.